Welcome back, and we're joined now by women's soccer alum and current director of operations, Ellie Reed. Mm -hmm. Ellie, thanks for joining us. Yes, happy to be here. First, let's take a look back at your playing career here at UP. You played both in the midfield and on the back line from 2007 to 2010. You earned all-conference honors all four years, freshman All-American, mm -hmm. and while you were here, the Pilots were one of the top teams in the country. Talk about what it was like to play here for the Pilots. Yeah, um, UP was you know, a top 10 school when I was getting recruited here, and it was an honor to come and play here. Um, the crowds were amazing, and just the program as a whole was something that I always dreamed of being a part of. Um, and yeah, just the players that I got to play with, and it made me a better player as a whole by the time I left. And three of those years you advanced to the quarterfinals in the playoffs. 2010, I think you guys were the number one seed going into the playoffs. <laughs> I'm sure you have a lot of memories from those days. Do a few stand out for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I remember, I think it was my freshman year when we went to UCLA and played in the quarterfinal there. Um, just, I think back on some of the players that were on the field at that time and it's pretty amazing. Um, I think we ended up losing in overtime, but it was just an amazing game. And being able to play as a freshman, it just like <laughs> you couldn't have asked for anything better. Wow, that was your freshman year. I think so, it's yeah. Three two double overtime yeah. loss to the Bruins is heartbreaker. It was, it was. <laughs> and now your days at UP beyond the soccer field, how did this school impact you as a person? Yeah, um, you know, University of Portland's kind of known as its close knit family, you know, mentality, and I think that really has made an impact on my life. And I want to be a part of places that are like UP um, in my future and it's it's great being back and being able to be here and doing that as well but um, yeah it's just the people that I met and and going forward I like to make those connections and and I just always relate it back to kind of where it all started for me here. So after your collegiate plan days you moved on to the pros you enjoyed a lengthy pro, pro career first in Boston uh, then in Seattle talk about your pro days it also included some time in Europe didn't it? Yeah it did um, I got drafted by Western New York, and I actually didn't make the team, so that was an interesting <laughs> start to my professional career. Um, but, you know, it goes to show you that you, you just got to keep going, and it was hard at the time, but I'm so grateful that Boston picked me up and I got to continue playing there. Um, Boston was great. Got to play with Keelan Winters, one of my best friends who played here as well. Um, so that was a lot of fun, good two seasons there. And then the league folded, and so I went over to Germany and played just for maybe six or seven months. Um, but that was a lot of fun as well, different style. Um, got to learn a bit of different things about the game and you know how they like to play over there. Um, and then the league came back, the NWSL, and uh, was able to come back to the Pacific Northwest and sign with Seattle. So that was really, really fun. Um, and I loved my time up there. You mentioned Keelan. Up in Seattle, you had several former Pilots yes. as teammates. Uh, Steph Cox, Danny Fox, Oven, um, Megan Rapino, just to name a few. Yeah. Ha I mean, we joked about it around here. We called Seattle Rain the UP of the North. Mm -hmm. Did having so many familiar faces around enhance your time up there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's always fun to you know, reconnect with some people after a couple of years and be able to play because you grow so much as a player and a person from college to the pros. So that's pretty cool to be able to come back together. And I think we all had a good similar vibe on and off the field. And so that helped. Um, and yeah, we all just had a lot of fun on and off the field. So I'm sure you and Keelan probably had some some good adventures up there. Any we specific did. memories stand out for you? Um, well, Keelan, Danielle, and I, Danny, um, all lived together in, in a house and it was on the lake. And so, you know, we had a lot of <laughs> just fun times on the lake and doing different things but yeah that was great very nice so then you retired came mm -hmm. back here to join uh, coach French's staff as the director of soccer operations yeah. was that always the plan for you no um, when I retired I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do um, I knew I wanted to be back in Portland um, and I, I still love soccer and love the game so when this opportunity came I was happy to take it um, still be involved but kind of doing something different and learning some new things and um, yeah, I've never, I didn't really know Frenchie a ton before, but I always heard of her. She's kind of a legend, you know, with UP and on the national level. So um, when I got coffee with her and chatted with her, I just knew that it would be a really cool opportunity for myself and to be back on the bluff. And you touched on it earlier. Talk about what it means to you to be back at your alma mater. Now on the other side of things, uh, possibly making an impact on the current women's soccer players. Yeah, it's really, really neat. You know, a lot has changed and a lot is still the same. So that's kind of cool to see the new and the old, um, some familiar faces around and some new buildings up and everything. So it's cool. And um, it's been a lot of fun getting to know the current staff and the current team. Um, they're all, it's a great group. And I think we had a lot of fun together this spring. So we're looking forward to the fall. 
And what is it like to work for Coach French? It seems like she has an abundance of energy all the <laughs> she time. She does, all the time. <laughs> I don't know where it comes from, but I try to feed off of that because I don't always have, you know, I'm not a morning person and she's <laughs> up you know, at the break of dawn. So, uh, no, it's really good. She's She just has great vibes about her and everyone kind of, feeds off of that even you know to see her interact with the girls is really fun because it's the same thing with them you they can feel her energy and you know it goes into practice and playing well and those sorts of things and yeah she's just a great leader on and off the field um and there's a lot to learn from her you've been on the job now for a few minutes spring season's over graduation last sunday a little break now maybe for yeah. you but how has the job uh, been going for you so far yeah it's good it took a couple weeks to kind of get into it this is you know my first real job outside <laughs> of professional sports so you know just that nine to five grind getting used to it but it's been really really good um I don't think it, there could have been a better opportunity for me coming out of professional sports like I said still being involved with soccer and um doing what I love so that's really nice um and it was fun to be back in the spring um and like you said now it's kind of a little bit more relaxed but we're still getting ready for the fall right now so and looking at the fall and beyond for the pilots what does the future hold for for this program yeah, you know, I mean, I don't think anyone knows right now, but that's kind of the fun and exciting part about it. Um, we have some good games coming up. I think the schedule just got announced, um, so that's exciting. Yeah, and I, I don't know. We'll see. I, it's a great group of girls, and, you know, to see them from the beginning of the spring to the end is cool to see that transition, working under Frenchie and everything that they've learned. So um, more work to do for sure, but, yeah, we're excited. Women's Soccer alum and Director of Operations, Ellie Reed, thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you. Coming up, we feature women's tennis junior Radina Dimitrova, who has enjoyed a stellar career with the Pilots. Portside of the Pilots continues after the break on NBC Sports Northwest.